Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Ailing European Union losing its hold on Britain European Commission provides funding of 93 million euros for three projects in Mozambique Germany wants to water down EU CO2 targets with electric vehicles that nobody wants. Delayed EU trade accord hurts South African fishing. Plus, Germany supports EU plan to label settlement products. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the long-term pattern is clear. As time goes on, Britain is doing relatively less trade with the EU and more with non-EU countries. The reasons for this are not hard to discern. Not only is the EU in long-term economic decline relative to the rest of the world, but the terrible problems of the Eurozone are accelerating the trend. It is striking that imports from the EU plunged by £1.3 billion during April alone and our exports to Germany are in the doldrums while those to the United States are booming, up by 7% in three months. And yet while the volume of EU trade declines, the obligations of membership increase all the time. The European Commission said Thursday it was providing €93 million Euros to fund projects in Mozambique to supply water, repair roads in central Mozambique and partially fund construction of two hospitals. Recognising that Mozambique continues to face enormous difficulties in social development despite the economic growth it has registered, the European Union plans to fund three infrastructure projects to help combat poverty in the country, the statement said costing €11 million, Euros, of which €9 million will be provided by the European Commission, €1 million by the Mozambican government and €1 million from UNICEF. The first drinking water project will benefit 50,000 people and is due to start this year. An attempt of Germany to water down CO2 targets about to be imposed by the EU explains why automakers are eager to build electric vehicles despite a lack of eager market. Germany proposes that so-called super credits can be used to offset the limits. Unlimited super credits could allow the manufacturers of electric cars, for which there is little to no demand, while allowing just as many polluting vehicles as before onto the roads, campaigners against super credits told Reuters. According to The Wire, Germany has been pushing for months for greater flexibility in implementing an emissions goal of 95 grams of carbon dioxide per kilogram as an average across new EU vehicles from 2020. But votes in the European Parliament so far have backed a fairly robust version of the European Commission's original proposal. Supercredits would allow high emission cars provided that their makers also make low emission vehicles such as electric cars. With a trade agreement between South Africa and the European Union still being negotiated, the country could miss the boat on taking advantage of the EU's move last week to drastically reduce fishing in its waters to save dwindling fish stocks. A gap has emerged in the EU fish market because the bloc has agreed to end overfishing in its waters by 2015 to 2020 for some exceptional species, after fish stocks had dwindled precariously. Eurostat has released data showing that fish catches have fallen from more than 8 million tonnes in 1995 to 4.9 million tonnes in 2010. Now, notice the emergence of these trade agreements. The EU and South Africa the EU and USA, let's think for a moment about how the common market trade agreement has evolved from the perspective of the people of Britain. We now find, some 40 years later, that a clandestine creep has taken place, one that has usurped and neutered the powers of our own government and entracted us into a federal United States of Europe. Whilst the media on the one hand talks about establishing a free trade agreement with South Africa, and that this will take time, it neglects to mention that there are already agreements in existence for trading purposes. Search for trade agreement on our site and you'll see that there, these are already established. 
So what is in this new agreement that makes the other agreements unsuitable? That is the question we here at the unit are investigating. Germany has its support to a plan by the European Union to label products manufactured in Israeli communities in Judea and Samaria, Army Radio reported on Sunday. The report cited an official government document in which the German government has stated its stance on the issue for the first time. The document was issued in response to queries by German opposition members. Now, in our view, the document states products should be labelled made in Israel only if they are manufactured within the pre-1967 borders. Currently, all Israeli products exported to Europe, including products manufactured in Judea and Samaria, are marketed as made in Israel. Today in our video library, we reported about the impact the US-EU free trade agreement will have on the UK National Health Service. Well, if the John Birch Society is correct, and let's face it, they are a very well respected geopolitical think tank, the US-EU free trade agreement is nothing of the sort. It is the next step in a stealthy creeping process which has global world government as its core strategic objective. In this video, the John Birch Society looks at what is meant by terms such as the Atlantic community in these agreements. And why do so many of the legal documents begin with the wording in accordance with the United Nations Charter? Is this another aspect of the Agenda 21 program? And finally, why is power being handed over to make the NAFTA court supreme? And why does it have the power to make adjudications from which there is no appeal? I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>